So this is the 10th year of Thriller Fest. Yes, it is. Have, have you been here every year? I, I was one of the founders of it. So yes, I've been very, very here all the time. It's great. It's, it's really great to see how it's grown over the years. Oh my gosh, you know, the first year we were very excited when we had like, I think 300 people and now we have more like 1,100. So it's wow. gone, I think it's gone viral, as they say, you know, it's yeah. really incredible. The, uh, you know, the decision to keep it here in New York every year, I think it's been a brilliant idea. Yeah. Uh, and it, it just, it has so much going on and it's just like a, you know, it's like Disneyland for adults. It is. You know, yeah. it's pretty cool. And you are in a book that ITW um, has out, Face yeah. Off. Yes, I'm one of the, uh, I think there's 22 of us, or I think 23 if you count R.L. Stein's puppet. So uh, I think there's 23 like living human beings uh, who did who did the book, and I'm with Jeff Parker, T. Jefferson Parker, with right. a story. So you're called, faced off with each I'm other. Faced off. I, I my character Wyatt Hunt, and his character from Silent Joe is named Joe Trona. So Jeff and I uh, were friends anyway, and we decided to do this story together. And it's just it's so fun. I can't tell you. Oh, that, how did that work? Did you email each other? Yeah, we uh, we got. <laughs> We got to very near the deadline, which sometimes happens, and I, I, I finally called him up and said, you know, I think we better get started on this. So I wrote him a couple of pages, and he, from that he said, okay, maybe I should do a kind of an outline to see where we're going. And he wrote an outline that would have probably turned out to be a full-length novel if we wrote it together. <laughs> so I wrote back and I said, I think we've got to cut it back to the basics, mm -hmm. and why don't we just start sending each, each other pages? And we did that for about five days, and we were done. It was so effortless cool. and so fun. It was great. Oh, neat. I really can't wait to read Face Off. Yeah, it's really a fun, it's a fun idea, and I think it really worked very well. Yeah, yeah. and now you have a new book out now as I well. I do, I do. I have a book called The Keeper, okay. and it's been a New York Times bestseller already. Oh, congratulations. It's nice. It's number 17 <laughs> in a row. It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, to me now, you know, it's, it's a bit of old news because I'm always working on the new book, and my new book is yeah. due in about three weeks, so I've got oh, a... Okay. I'm paying more attention to that than to Keeper. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, you know, the book very, did very well and it's still selling very well. It's here now, so it's great. How do you balance that? Because um, if the Keeper is out, you probably have to go to signings and speak about it, but then now you also have something else to write and a deadline. How do you balance all of that? It's a challenge, I must say, especially when you go on a, I did go on a multi-city tour for the Keeper. And it basically kept me out of town and away from my desk for almost a full month. Wow. Which when you're looking at a deadline coming up and you can't write for a full month, you know, on what you're supposedly handing in, uh -huh. um, it gets your attention. You know, it's yeah, a little bit nerve wracking. Yeah. And, and now I'm, I'm kind of living with the, the end of that moment of angst of going, well, mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. You know, so I think I'll be on time because I always have been before. But if mm -hmm. I'm a little bit late, I think they might forgive me. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Thanks see. so much for speaking with us. It's, it's always great Thank to you. see you. Yeah, it's good to see you again. Thanks, Thanks so much.